Well, the state Senate now has passed a bill today reforming the state's bond system for people who get arrested. It comes one day after the governor called on lawmakers to take action. News 19's Becky Buds has the story tonight. The bill senators passed Wednesday has several key differences from what the House passed in March, including support from every Democrat. It's our job to protect the citizens of the state. South Carolina senators gave unanimous approval to a bill Wednesday that would change the state's bond system. They argue it will close what they call a revolving door of people committing more crimes because of lax rules on who is allowed to be free on bond. The big message is, is we got to start holding the criminals accountable. The House bill only included violent crimes. However, the Senate changed it to include gun crimes, creating a tiered system that would make bonds more expensive or revoke bonds for defendants accused of violent crimes and gun crimes. If you're doing it the third time, you know, clearly you just don't care and, and are a dangerous person that just needs to be held until, until trial. The biggest change got rid of a provision allowing prosecutors to seek an additional five-year sentence for anyone convicted of a violent crime while out on bond for another violent crime. This idea that a mandatory minimum sentence is going to deter somebody from committing the crime is ludicrous. Senators also added a provision that would allow SLED to create statewide regulations for electronic monitoring and would allow defendants whose bond has been revoked to move for a speedy trial within 180 days. Lawmakers say these changes address concerns about due process rights and overcrowding in the state's prisons. I don't think there are that many people that are going to fit this criteria. Now, they're small in number, but large in impact. The bill is likely headed to a conference committee where lawmakers from both chambers will have to work out a compromise. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX.